back over here with some wrenching. Uh, just, I've been wrenching. I've been doing some stuff around here. I've been cleaning up, kind of. I have not done anything to this yet. All right. I still have the Bartolone Roven Recase 45cc engine here. Have not done nothing, people. Sorry. A lot of guys interested about that. Uh, so am I, man. Shit, I, I am very interested in that. Um, there's just so many things going on at once. I have not done my unveiling on my Drag Baja yet. But it's here. It's definitely happy to see you. And I'm just going over my two-speed. I have more than a few people interested in this King Motor two-speed transmission setup with primal gears so i have to go over it there's some maintenance going on all right i'm just doing a quick video i like i don't even want to do a video of this i haven't done a video all week like i, I i'm just so damn busy tonight i'm planning on going out with the wifey you know what i'm saying we're gonna to go to a nice restaurant today so I'm, I'm in different mood there's a few of you guys that text me and email me uh, privately. I think it's just easier if I do a video of this. There are some past videos that I've done, but I don't know if you could find them. So this is going to be a video of that. All right. So I have to replace a one-way bearing. I'm going to replace both of them. I'm just going to put two fresh ones. Uh, these one-way bearings have been here since three years, since day one. I'm going to show you the direction they have to be on and I'm going to show you what I do. All right, so far, this is this two-speed is three years old. It's been holding up great. I did have to replace the other day. I did not show in, in video. Uh, this spring here, this is the part number I like to use. It's an FG spring and ball. All right, just it's, it's a different spring. Now, when I used this spring, I had to use a different grub screw, not as tall, all right? Because I had the stock freaking King Motor spring in here. <laughs> still in here man it was time to throw that shit away but i can't believe how long it did last a lot of people go through those springs so quickly because they over tighten them you know a lot of times when they adjust their two speed they they actually they squish them uh, too much and then they get squished and then they're junk so you want to go a little bit all right but what you should do but it, but if you're new to it you're not going to get that feeling all right so let's take this out all right, there's bearings. You got check for your bearings. Like there's bearings in your two-speed. Make sure they're good. The one-way bearings are in here, or in this part here, in this piece here that we're gonna be taking out. All right, and you, and you need a special tool. There's a special tool. You can probably find these at a small engine shop. I just put yellow yellow tape on it because I put yellow tape on everything, uh, just in case you lose it in the field or whatever. You can see it. You know. All right, so just when you go over your two-speed. Just go over everything. These are your bearings. These are, I have not replaced them. I will keep them. They're still great. Uh, here's another bearing. Now, what, over here, this is where your claw is. This is your claw. All right. So you just want to... How I adjust that spring is by feel. All right. Yes, you could do a two turns and then go from there or four turns but just be careful man because some grub, grub screws are different and then when you put that fg spring in here who knows how many turns it's going to be it won't be the same as the king motor spring ends then so just go by feel all right and that's how i do it now to adjust your two speed turn the wheel to adjust the two speed is this guy here this grub screw here is what locks your claw set up your 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 disc here to the shaft here all right so this is the grub screw right there that will stiffen your spring now this that spring that i showed you that fg part number is inside here is inside this this disc here where the claw is all right the ball goes first, then the spring, then your grub screw. All right, so here, here's your claw. So when your when your RPMs, when this transmission is spinning with RPMs, this is your claw is going to open up. At a, all right, so when you stiffen it, it's going to be harder to open up. So you're going to be at higher RPMs to get that bitch to to open up for you. You know what I'm saying? So 
you don't want it too much because then you're going to be in first gear too much, too high. Uh, you're going to over rev your engine, all right? Or you're going to lose power because when, when you pass that power in your power band of, of a certain RPM, it's not making any more power, so you're just wasting time. And then it's going to hit second gear hard. It's going to be like, bang. You don't, you don't want it to bang too hard into second gear because eventually your claw will wear out. All right, so this claw is three years old, and I will not be replacing that. I do have new claws, but I'm keeping this one because it's still good. So anyways, inspect everything. If your claw starts looking cut up, you want to replace this claw with a new one, all right? I actually have another King Motor 2-speed brand new in a box that I just use as spare parts, all right? Yeah, I can put it in anything I want, like I, on any one of my Bajas, but I don't want to run 2-speeds on my Basher Bajas. I definitely run a 2-speed on my Drag Race Baja, all right? And if I ever want to put a 2-speed on my Primal Dragster, I could as well, but I want to keep my Primal Dragster single speed as well. Anyways... Yeah. Two, using a two-speed, it all depends on what engine you're running and what you're doing and how many feet drag race you're running. I already replaced that spring, so, all right? So I'm not going to show it here. It's very easy. Just open up that this grub screw. Take out the, the stock spring and ball. If you have to, you may have to use a small magnet to take it out or a pick. All right, get, your, uh, get some, a tool like this and try to pick that son of a bitch out. All right, or a small magnet. All right, something like this or even smaller than this. All right, and then that's it, man. So the one-way bearings we're going to be using are Team Fast Eddies. Just quicker, easier if you have a, a tool like this, an arbor press, just like this. All right, you know, yeah, something like this. Then you have different adjustments here. All right, you don't want to mess this up. You don't want to put pressure. You, you want to make sure this guy is free. All right, don't be putting it on something and then damaging this. All right, so like this is just a, a easier, better way, um, less way to damage or nick your your two speeds set up here. And this is an important tool to have. So the first thing you want to do is check this. Check your one-way bearings before you remove them. You don't want to reverse them. If you put your one-way bearings reversed, you're going to damage your two speed or your clutch. You don't need headaches like that. All right, so. Just make sure you're freewheeling this way, see? Now, when it locks, make sure it freewheels. It's neutral like this, all right? Because you want this wheel to spin this way. And then when that clutch, when that clutch engages and your tooth, your, your gears move, guess what? It's gonna go like this, then boom, it's gonna grab. That's why you want your grip. You want your grip. But when you're not r running, when you're off the throttle, when it's idling and there's no tension on your clutch, and this is still, you can, and you want to move your wheels, you want it to free flow like this, see? But when you hit that gas, you, and you want it to lock. And then you check this side as well. And that's it, look at it. So you get free flow in there, and then boom. This is the one that's slipping. This is the bad one. All right. All right, so we're going to put them all in the same direction. Just be careful. If you mess up, you're going to have to redo them. Let's get busy with it. Check, see what hole. I'm going to use the, the widest one here. And that's it, man. We're going to pop them out. Now go slow with this guy here. Make sure everything's aligned well. Make sure everything's aligned well. Everything's got to be even, aligned. And now make sure you're somewhere sturdy, all right? If your table is weak, you go to a different table or go to the edge or put it on the floor. Because right? sometimes a lot of freaking tension you got to put here. If you're a guy that don't eat steak, all right, get a pipe and put the pipe in here so you got more leverage. All right? To remove your, the one-way bearings, you got to push them all out from the front to the back. That's how they all drop drop out, okay? Now, when you install them, you have to install them from the back in, all right? Don't go through here. Don't install them from here.
Get out. <clears throat> See, it's starting to come out. Got a lot of freaking pressure in here, man. You got to. There's one. One came out. Two came out. All right, I use this socket here as a spacer. And for leverage. And there's what. There's the one-way bearing tool. See that? So go over your setup. Make sure there's no nicks. There's no burrs. Get your new one-way bearings. Make sure your tool is clean. Okay. Now go over it, put, stick your tool in the one way bearing. See that? There's one. All right, that's freewheel in that way. So I'm going to put this guy in first. It's freewheel in that way. Perfect. And this guy's going to go in second. All right, so you're basically gonna go in just like this. All right, so first guy, reverse it, boom, boom. Do not tap this with a hammer. Do not press this in a vise. Try not to do that, okay? With the right tools, man, and shit, the job is easy. Now take it out every now and then. Make sure you make it to here. Just a little bit. All right, I'm gonna put the other one in now. Make sure this is level and aligned straight. All right, all good. All right, so. You don't wanna pass that. Don't not pass that edge, that rim. All right, now double check. Make sure it free flows that way. All right, make sure it free flows to the right. The bearing seems like it needs a little oil. All right, so I'm done. This is good. All right, so all, all good. Now, <clears throat> another thing I wanna do is a little, a little trick. One drop of Lucas Oil Stabilizer. One drop on the damn one-way bearings. Best shit so far, man. That's why my one way bearing has been lasting a long time. All right. I have some Lucas oil stabilizer in a can like this. I just squirt as needed. It's that thick shit. Uh, and we want to take a look. Take a look at this. This is what it's almost like honey. See that? See that? Shit's amazing stuff. Very tacky as well. Look. As you can see, I don't know if the camera will show you. It's tacky. Almost looks like that red and tacky from Team Fast Study Grease, man. See that? See that tackiness? It's good shit. That's why a drop, man. A drop does wonders here. 
you do not want to put too much oil in your one-way bearings because you'll, you'll actually mess yourself up. All right, you do not want oil to be dripping out of here. Just want a coating. Just want a coating of that shit. It's hot. This is all going to get really hot, man. That's when that Lucas oil works its magic. That's it. Now, before we put that part back on, we're going to go over our second speed, our second gear. All right, I already went over this one. So this here, these pins sometimes get loose. You do not want these shits to fly out, to come loose. All right, so I'm going to pop this guy out. I'm going to put some red Loctite. And then I'm going to hit it with some heat. I'm going to put, I'm throw my torch to it. Just heat it up. Don't forget to clean, since you have it out, clean inside your, your two-speed. This is where your claw, right, this claw here, that's where it's going to engage and hit these guys here. It's going to, it's going to, when it opens, bah, and it's going to smack into these pins. And that's when your second speed, your second gear will engage, man, start running for you. These gears get hot, man, especially in the summer. These things get hot. That's when these shits will come out flying out. These pins will get loose on you, so... Clean that shit out, nitro blast it, the holes, red Loctite, and heat them up with the, once the red Loctite is on there. You're going to have to heat them up. All right, so to remove this pin, you just get a small punch. Get a small skinny punch, put it on here and press it out. Simple. All right, and then the same way. You know, well, this, you can put it back over here and press them in this way. See that? Now, this gear here is not a King Motor gear. It's a Primal RC gear that works on the King Motor 2 speed. All right? These this gear here is heat treated. It's it's a it's a very good nice gear, man. Strong solid gear. All right. That's it. Just service your two speed once in a while, boom. All right. All right, so Clean up my bearings, put a little dab of that Lucas stabilizer, a drop of that in the bearings. It's feeling good, feeling great. Got everything good. I got a drop on each side, a one-way bearing as well. Right. So you got the first and second gear here, feeling good. Nice and secured. Pins are nice and secured this time. Look at that, feeling nice. Put this guy here. Don't go all the way in yet. Just spin it on the shaft. See, you get your one-way bearing. Now, if you see this move with it, you have issues. See how the shaft does not move, but the but the first and second speed gears are, are moving? That's what you want. If you see that move, one of your one-way bearings is reversed. Do not try to drive it like that, okay? All right, so just it. Now, we're not going to put the screw on yet because I want to take it out and take a look. If the shaft is too oily, we have to clean it off. We got to wipe that sucker off if it's too oily. It just has to have a thin film of it on it. All right, feels good. Feels good. See, that's what you want. That's it. That's it. All good. Take a quick peek, a look inside. One way bearing. All right, that's it. Tighten her up. Tighten her back up. I put Loctite here and let it dry. It's got plenty on it, so I'm just gonna resecure this. I'm gonna put it on here. 
And I'm going to just tighten it up. You got to hold two wheels and just snug it. Don't go crazy. Don't go crazy with it, but just snug it up. All right. If it's your first time, put some Loctite on here and let it dry up. All right. Or hit it with some heat. Then torque her down. Now, when you're out there, when you're adjusting your two-speed for the very first time, definitely don't over tighten this. All right. You're gonna, you may have to adjust your shift point. So for you to adjust your shift points, you're gonna have to take this out, take this out, take that out, get to your claw, get to that grub screw I told you about before. All right, there it is. All right, if you need to, if you want your car to shift later, if you wanna hear that second gear bang, like, little, if you need, if you wanna stay in first gear longer, you, you're gonna have to tighten that to the right a little bit at a time, okay? Little turns at a time. Just keep adjusting it till you get it right. For us, for drag racing, we don't want to stay in first too long, but we don't want it to slap into second too quick either. So yeah, it all depends your setup, all right? Sometimes if you bang into second too hard, your car will get out of control. So get that shit nice and smooth, all right? All right, guys, so one more time, I just want to let you guys know it's not Chris's fault. It's not Dan's fault. It's my fault that this is not in there yet running. All right. Um, also, I want to give this engine a nickname. And it wasn't actually my idea. It's one of my subscribers' idea. I forget the name. I forget the person who, who, who mentioned it to me in one of my comments. So if you can, let me know who you are again, all right? So I can give you a shout-out, man. I just tried looking back at my uh, past three videos and i can't find it on the comments but uh what we're gonna nickname this engine amongst us brat brothers let's call this the new brovon kid 45 cc reed case kid why not all right so awesome name dude all right shout out to you whoever you are i got a kick out of that man that's awesome that was funny as hell stay tuned i may show my unveiling of my drag baja next i don't know we'll see or You'll see the new Brovon 45 Reed case in here. Happy to see you. All right? So stay tuned. See you guys soon.